The struggle over abortion is real, y'all. So let's just it dive is. right they into that plans. first. I yeah. Mean, our ovaries. Yeah. So it's. I mean, it's just one of the most searing issues right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of these states after states after states are, are putting in all of these anti-abortion laws. And um, this is one issue I think that has the potential to bring out women, like really bring them out and, and, and focus on them. But my question is, it takes two to tango, right? You know, uh -huh. it takes two to make a baby. So why is it that men, you know what I mean, who are, you know, pro a woman's right to choose, mm -hmm. isn't being included in these conversations? Why aren't they speaking up? What do you think? Why aren't they speaking up saying, if she wants an abortion, she should be able to have one? Exactly, exactly. Because even men can't even have that conversation when you tell them, Ray, Ray, I'm pregnant. <laughs> well, what you want to do? You know what I'm trying to say? It's just really hard for them to, like, vote. Like, I don't even understand why why um, the politicians and government feel like it's okay to just chime in. Because your partner can't. When you're like, well, I'm pregnant, they're like, well, what, well I'm going to do whatever you want to do. You know what I'm trying to say? Which is what you're supposed to yeah. do, actually, because it yeah. is your body, right? Right, right. I, I agree. I mean, I, I read this. They um, just backing up when when uh, um, life starts right hey. it's like like life starts as soon as he gets up first of all <laughs> I don't even know you like that <laughs> you crazy girl you just took it all the way left my yeah, goodness no, like, all the way left like, it's on my leg half of this oh sorry <laughs> what the I'm sorry that whoa, was the bad taste whoa wow this is a kid show family <laughs> family okay I'm sorry when does life start is the issue actually just backing up to a a point yeah. where it's like as soon as you meet the dude at the bar, you be like, hey. But that's the thing. Okay, so this is this is one of the things that I read uh -huh. in the New York Times' is opinion piece, and I thought it was really interesting. So let's 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 talk about theoretically what would happen if men got charged, like women got charged for abortions, right? Like if if these laws go into effect and they're able to, you know, pros prosecute somebody if they have oh, abortion. Oh, good. Well, we don't need so, Rockefeller laws anymore. We can roll them all back because Ray and them all are going to jail <laughs> a couple times. Oh, sorry. Okay, so Tell think about this. So it says this. Also. Okay, for example, current law gives Jane the exclusive right to decide whether to end her pregnancy. But if abortion is a crime, here it is, John's obligation to the fetus might shift. If John walks away knowing he got her pregnant and suspecting she will have an abortion, he's committing child neglect. Because he knew she was going to have an abortion, right? So, so he can be charged too. Think about that. He can be right? charged with child neglect because... He didn't give her the three hundred dollars. Like what's happening? <laughs> that's what I'm. That's what, what I'm saying. Where? We take we it gotta, to the logical gotta try conclusion. To figure it out like where? Exactly. You take it to the but logical he's conclusion. He's not going to be charged with anything because men aren't. Held that is the point. That is right. the point. Come and it on. should be that way. If we're gonna, but if what we, about a one night stand? So who's? Exactly. That's what. That's what people are saying. Like we need to stop these types of regressive laws. Because where does yeah, it end? Where does it we end? are always punishing I women, but we're not punishing men. When he bought the drink, first of all, you a uh, 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 what did what did he call accomplice? You know, <laughs> yeah, Trump. You're an accomplice to the Trump because you know how I act <laughs> on Hennessy. <laughs> but look, this, you. Hennessy and edibles, Hello. you knew what was going to happen. But listen, okay, sorry. Huh. not for nothing. You are joking about it. This was something that she put up. <laughs> she said, listen, listen to this. John, again, we're talking about John and Jane here. And we talking John, about the New York Times. John not may have even mm -hmm. broken Alabama law before Jane got pregnant by failing to take precautions to avoid unwanted pregnancy. But what about the so call that's, breaks? So that's recklessly engaging. Recklessly, Recklessly like, a, like, like, like a driving drunk. Mm. Ooh, yeah, sometimes you do be driving drunk. <laughs> it, Ooh, that's good. I got to write that down. So you see, you see how you see how it is though. But yeah. it's you're making jokes because it's ludicrous. Driving drunk, but that's she the riding thing. drunk. Everybody drunk. Yeah, <laughs> everybody making. But then they need to stop alcohol. So alcohol. So see, but these laws the make no sense. Because what's slope. happening, right? Everybody can get drunk. Eighteen. Drink, 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 drink. Mm. Everybody right now can get high, right? Okay. So now they high and they drunk, and but they gotta be responsible for what's gonna happen with all the stuff that you Not said that they can take to make it legal, neglect. right? You can make it, and then they, ask, they need to be responsible. Like we, if the laws are gonna go, especially as it relates to abortion and babies and fetuses and all that stuff, then we're gonna have to really be really liberal, really be progressive. No, real conservative, conservative, very, we have to very, be very, conservative. very, very conservative, and we're gonna have to. Robe. I know y'all making money on marijuana now, but you're gonna have to stop. And alcohol, we're gonna have to get <laughs> prohibition again because these are the things that lead up to. But this the is what, okay. So what you what you're saying 
is the handmaid sale. Tomorrow. The I'm handmaid so sale. The handmaid sale. I have yeah. not watched that because I don't watch TV. L- listen, mm-hmm. that show, our executive producer is shaking her head right now because she probably doesn't want to watch it. But it <laughs> is a nightmare scenario where they have taken controlling women, controlling everything that is progressive in any way to like the nth degree so homosexuality is illegal women cannot exist outside of their husbands they are only allowed to have sex to procreate those who cannot procreate have to allow a handmaid to come in to have have sex with their husband in order for them to procreate forcibly in order to like you know propagate the species and keep kids going and all that stuff it is a nightmare that is what we are going towards with these laws it's scary it, it's really, really, really scary. Um, mm. Guys, I know you at home have a lot to say about yeah. this, so please check in. Tell us what you think in the comments below this video. We want to hear from you. That just shut me up. That just shut me up. And, that, and that's hard to do. That's hard to do. That's a lot. It is, it is, it is so much. It is so much.